how we sketch this do this sketching exercise make sure you are familiar with the graphs in 11.0 go through the videos in 11.0 make sure you know how does the mother graphs look like first okay now in this question for a when you need to draw x equals to 2 okay x equals to 2 is a straight line but what kind of straight line is this now where is x equals to 2 x equals to the 2 would be here. This line only passes through x equals to 2. So what, how do I need, then, this, the graph would look like this. Okay, a vertical line that cuts at x equals to 2 only. Okay. Next, y equals to negative 3 over x. Think, 3 over x. How does 3 over x look like? So in your mind, you must have this visualization. Okay, it is here and it is here. So this is the graph of y equals to a over x. But if I have a negative in front, what happens? Flip from the positive y to the negative y. So it will look like this and this. Make sure you start very close to the axis. And when you go down, make sure you end also very close to the axis. It must be very close and it must go towards the axis. You cannot turn it up like that. Uh, once you have a little bit like, it's considered wrong already. Okay, it must go very, very close to the axis. Okay, C, I think there's a typo for C. C is a representative. Uh, there's a typo for C. So let's just include a square here. Okay, what happens if it's negative 3 over x squared? Then let's think, what does y equals to 1 over x squared look like? Okay, so at this point, you have to know it is here and here. So if I have negative 3 over x squared, what will happen? It will go to the bottom, start very close to the axis, and end very close to the axis. Now this is too close, such that it touched, so it cannot really redo. Start very close to the axis and end very close to the axis. Yeah. But you cannot touch the axis. Start very close to the axis and then end very close to the axis. And try for it to be as symmetrical as possible. Okay? Now next, if you have two bracket form, uh, this is very very important. Okay. When the question gives you this one, do not go and expand because this is the factorized form of the quadratic equation. Really. Number one, what you need to know is C, what is the x squared? x times negative x gives you x squared. So the x squared is negative x squared, which means that this is an n Okay, x times x gives you a negative x squared, which means this is n shape. Number two, find out what are the roots. Roots means what is the solution for this quadratic equation. 1 plus x, 1 minus x equals to 0. Okay, so this means that x plus 1 equals to 0 or x minus 1 or 1 minus x or x plus doesn't matter equals to 0. x equals to negative 1 or x equals to 1. Which means that this graph is an n-shape that will cut at negative 1. Ah, when you leave this amount of space for negative 1, make sure you leave the same amount of space for 1 as well. And since it's an N shape, okay, you can draw this. Then one more. How to find the y intercept? Number three for y intercept means when x is equal to zero, y equals to one multiplied by one, which is equal to one. So this is one as well. Okay. So I repeat. In order to draw a, a sketch with a two brackets, it means you must already know that this is must be quadratic already. In secondary school, most of the things are in quadratic. Okay? First, find out what is your x square like by doing this pairing. x can only pair with negative x to give x square. So this is negative x square, it is n shape. Number two, find out the roots of the equation. Roots of the equation means what are the answer of the quadratic equation. So we let the quadratic equation is zero. And we find out x equals to negative 1, x equals to 1. Label these two. Okay? And then you can start to sketch already. It's an N shape. Make sure it's symmetrical. Find out what is the y intercept. Okay? 
Next, 2 to the power of x. Can you remember? Start very close to the axis, aeroplane taking of y equals to 2 to the power x. How to find this? When x is equal to 0, 2 to the power of, okay, y will be equal to 2 to the power 0, which is equal to 1. So this is 1. That's just it. Y equals to 4. Sorry. Y equals to 4. It, this line only cuts the Y axis at 4. So over here, and then take your ruler. equals to x. When x is a power 1, what kind of line is this? A linear line. A straight line. Going up or going down, the gradient of this line, the gradient is equal to 1, so it's going up. Any y intercept? No y intercept. So means it would look like Next one, y equals to x squared plus 1. Do you realize that this kind of equation we cannot factorize? Okay, so in your mind, what does y equals to x squared look like? x squared, positive, u shape. So this looks like here, y equals to x squared. So if you add 1, means the whole graph will shift up by 1. Just draw a u shape that turns at here and label this 1. So what is y equals to x squared? Nothing very difficult about sketching graph. It's not hard at all. Many students tell me, Mr. Ivan, this is very hard. This is very hard. I cannot remember. Okay? Make sure you familiarize yourself with the graph. Find a way to remember how does the mother curve looks like. How does the shape of each graph look like. And then you'll be able to work out all these other questions. Easily. There's one more question, Jay. So when you see this, be very strong at quadratic equation, minus 2x. Can I factorize him? I can. x bracket x minus 2. Okay. So anything that's factorizable means there's answers. When there's answers, means there's x intercept. Okay. So according to just now, what did we say? The x square is positive. So it's going to be a u shape graph. Number 2. x bracket x minus 2 equals to 0. This means that x equals to 0 or x minus 2 equals to 0, x equals to 2. So I have two roots, which is at 0 and 2. Okay, and it's a U shape. So what do I need to do? Just make sure you draw a nice U shape. Like that. All right, and the Y that you already found is also 0. So there's nothing else to that. Y equals to x squared. 